Now, what is a sequence? A sequence is the arrangement of numbers in a definite order. This order can be with a constant difference in between the numbers. When, it's a, when there's a constant difference in between, in between the numbers, we are talking about an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic progression. Now, if there's a constant ratio in between the numbers, then we'll be referring the we'll be calling the sequence a geometric sequence or a geometric progression. Now, what is a series? A series is a sequence with a specific algebraic sign in them. Like you, possibly you could have a positive or a negative sign in between the numbers, just as you have two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus dot dot dot. That is a series. A sequence would be two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma dot dot dot. Now we have different types of sequence or series. We have the finite and the infinite sequence. If it is finite, then it has an end. An example would be 2,3,4,5,6 dot. Now, an infinite sequence or series is a series or sequence that doesn't have an end. It's to infinite, infinity. An example would be 2,3,4,5,6 dot dot dot. Notice that we have three dots afterwards. That indicates to infinity. It means no end. Now, let's go next. Let's go to our, the arithmetic progression. What is the arithmetic progression? In this case, like I have said before, an arithmetic progression is a sequence that has a constant difference in between them. Now, when I mean a constant difference, when you have two comma three comma four between two and three, we have a difference of one. Between three and four, we have a difference of one. The difference is constant and is sometimes referred to as the common difference in arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence if the sequence is written in this term t1 comma t2 comma t3 comma t4 comma dot 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 the common difference would be d is equal to t2 minus t1 which can also mean T3 minus T2. And the first term here, T1, will be equal to A. The second term here, T2, will be equal to A plus the common difference. The third term here will be equal to A plus 2D. D there represents the common difference. And the fourth term here will represent A plus 3d now if you notice if you if you can notice the the progression in each of these terms you will notice that the coefficient of d is reducing by one in respect to the terms the first term there's zero d there's zero difference in the second term there's one common difference in the third term there are two common differences in the fourth term there are three d that means that Progressively, the term reduces by one as the term as the common difference reduces by one as the term increases. So that would give us the nth term as a plus n minus one bracket d. This formula is referred to as the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Now we are going next to the sum. Of an AP, the sum of an AP means adding up terms in an AP. Now, the terms of an AP can be added according to the following type. One of the types are if we have a finite sequence. I said before now that a sequence is finite if it has an end. So, an example would be T1, T2, T3, T4, full stop. Now, in this case, the sum of the term of an AP is equal to n over 2 into bracket a plus l and there represents the number of terms that we are adding up a there represents the first term l represents the last term now another another option will be the infinite sequence in this case a sequence without an end that would be an example would be t1 t2 comma t3 comma t4 comma dot 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 now since there are no last term and 
since the last term, okay, I'll need you to know that the last term of an AP is also can also be referred to as the nth term. Can also be referred to as the nth term. So that would mean that the sum of terms in an of an AP of an infinite series or, or, or an infinite sequence of an AP will be Sn to be equal to n over 2 into bracket a plus L, L there, the last term will be the nth term, which is a plus n minus 1 to bracket d, which will bring the sum of terms for an infinite sequence to n over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into bracket. Thank you.